Hi, I'm Alex from Tech City News, and this is your Week in Tech. First, it's time for your top tech investments. The world's largest Bitcoin wallet, Blockchain, raised a huge 30 million US dollars this week. This is the biggest ever investment in the virtual currency, and backers include Richard Branson, and now the service boasts over 2 million users. International relocation platform MoveGuide snapped up 8 million US dollars and Korea matchmakers 10 minutes with raised 4 million, making it another record-breaking week for investments. Now breaking up is never easy, but after a rough couple of years, HP is splitting into two separate companies. The new companies will be split between consumer and business, but analysts are already reporting the outlook for both companies isn't looking good. Quartz had the best take on the story this week with this headline, HP is splitting up into two equally boring parts. Amazon's first smartphone hit our British shores this week after failing to set America ablaze. The Fire Phone locks you into Amazon's world of books, music and videos. And for the less technically minded out there, it features 24-7 support via video with Amazon's customer care team. The phone's now available on O2 for free on contract or for an eye-watering £399 on pay-as-you-go. Our download of the week is Vivino, a social network for wine drinkers. If, like me, you find yourself drinking a great bottle of wine only to forget its name the morning after, this is the app for you. The app scans wine bottles, matches it up with tasting notes and shares your favourite wine with your friends. Vivino hooks up to your existing social networks, allowing you to discover what your friends are drinking. It's available now for free on iOS, Android and even Windows Phone. And finally, Google Street View cars are a familiar sight in cities across the world. Well now they've launched Camel Cam, capturing images from across the Abu Dhabi desert. This is the first time the company has used an animal to capture images, but Google says it's the most authentic way of taking the photographs. One thing's for sure, there are a lot less complaints about Google's invasion of privacy in this desert. This has been your Week in Tech. For more, check out Tech City News and follow us on Twitter.